and I didn't film it. I wish I did, but I didn't film it. Love, love, love. I don't know. I feel like they've been out forever. Why y'all ain't tell me about this? Hey girl, welcome back. It is that time of the month where I share my current favorites. I have some new products that I'm currently using that I'm loving and I wanna update you guys on those products and I also have a few products that are kinda old but I brought them back and started using them. I'm trying to use it up. So that's what we're talking about today. I usually start out with body care, skincare, but let's just start out with makeup this time. Cause y'all have these lashes I've been wearing and I know y'all are probably tired of hearing me talking about it cause I keep talking about it every time I post a video, but I love them so much. These are the Kiss Cluster Lashes, y'all. So if you wanna see me apply them, I did it in my one of my recent Get Ready With Me's and that video was like almost an hour long, but I mean, you can skip to that part. Um, there so easy to apply you just apply them under your lash but y'all when i tell you i have mastered it i wore the same pair a total of four or five times i believe i had to apply some new ones today um so i just these are fresh on the lashes so what i've learned is i need to put on mascara first before applying these i mean you can put them on without mascara but I found that when I put on mascara first and then put these on, they look better in a way because my mascara is making my lashes look a little bit more full. And then when I put these on, it just makes the lashes look 10 times better. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell a difference, but if you go to that video where I first applied these and if you see the completed look, you notice, well, just kind of compare it to that. And now, I mean, my lashes look so much more full because I have on mascara. Okay, hey, mascara was it, but obsessed with these. So, okay, they have a lot of styles. This is the natural and wispy. This is the box that they came in and it says natural and wispy right there. So if you want that natural wispy type of look, you'll get that from these. So yeah, I have been obsessed, obsessed with those lashes. I don't think I'm gonna go back to the strip ones. I really don't think I am because these are, I don't know. It's just, I like looking down and seeing that it looks like my real lashes, like, cause they're applied under your lash, not on top. It literally looks like I have on lash extensions and I've never gotten lash extensions. So using these, I don't want to say it makes me want to get lash extensions because why would I when I can just put these on, but they just look so freaking good y'all and I love 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 them um and y'all okay so my favorite my current favorite skin tint mixture iconic London skin tint mixed with the glow screen super goop in the shade sunset these two together are so freaking pretty on the skin so the reason why I started mixing these two together is because the iconic London skin tint is a little too dark I'm in the shade well this is the shade neutral deep I honestly feel like this is probably like my perfect shade now because I do have a little tan. But when I first tried it out, I felt like the shade was a little too dark. So I started going in with the glow screen. I put the glow screen in the middle of the face and then the iconic one around the perimeter. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's not what I have on today. I'm gonna show you what I got on today in a minute. But these two together are gorgeous. Love them, love the finish. It just looks so pretty on the skin. So I've been obsessed with this mixture. Um, so what I have on now, y'all, I already, I recently did a video on this. The Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint. Girl, 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 girl. I am very much impressed. Very impressed. Now say that because after filming that video, the next day I put makeup on, I put this on. I actually put the same products I used in that video, but I wanted to do a wear test and I didn't film it. I wish I did, but I didn't film it. <laughs> I feel like it just looks better towards the end of the day. I don't know, I can't explain it, but my skin just looks so pretty towards the end of the day. I mean, my makeup has been on for maybe about an hour almost two hours now, but I know it's still gonna look good by the end of the day. So yeah, this, I have been obsessed. So the product I use under it, well, what I've been using under it is the Undone Beauty 
primer oil. This is another new product that I've been testing out and I also shared this one in that get ready with me, but these two together have been really nice. The only thing though, the only thing I would say is if you're gonna use this, use a very small amount. If you watch the video of me applying this, you'll see it's a lot. Like it is very, very, very dewy because it's a primer oil. So you wanna use a little bit cause a little bit is gonna go a long way, but y'all this and this, skin has been beautiful you get the glow you get the dewiness but it's not super duper dewy because you're gonna put well not everybody puts powder on but i put the powder on afterwards and my skin still has a nice glow to it so these two yes 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 obsessed um oh and the sephora best skin ever setting powder this is what i also have on the skin i actually like this more layered with skin tints than I do by itself. In my review video, I did my found my powder foundation routine and I just used this, but honestly, if I'm gonna use this, I would much rather use it on top of a skin tint and not a foundation. Um, I say that because this does give coverage. It's not full, full coverage, but I find that it layers better on top of a skin tint because most skin tints are pretty sheer and I like the natural look so if i just wanted just a little bit more coverage just i'll i'll just go in with this and that's exactly what i have on today so obsessed i use the shade 44 in in this and this is how she looks once you open it but if you missed that review video definitely check it out and it comes with a little brush too so love 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 um oh i got a lot of lip products oops sorry okay kosas brow pop they have a new brow nano it's called the brow pop nano <laughs> but y'all i've said this a million and one times but if you have ever used the huda beauty brow definer and you love it but the only thing you hate about it is that it breaks easily get this this is literally the same thing, but it's stronger. It's not gonna break easily. It's super duper skinny, just like the one from Huda. And I can't get enough of it. It's so nice. I also have that on today. So that has been lovely. Okay, I've been testing out a different bronzer. It's by Well People. First off, this thing is 20 freaking dollars for this little bitty tube very pricey very pricey for this but she's cute it's what i have on very cute dang i didn't bring that brush down here i was going to share share that brush too but the brush i use with it is the refi dual sided uh foundation brush one of the sides has like a really small dense brush and it applies this perfectly on the skin but this is how she looks She's a little messy because I've been using her, but this is such a pretty color, y'all. Such a pretty color. This is in the shade Rich Bronze. And when you're outside, if the sun hits your face, you can see like this really pretty bronzy sheen because it does have a little sheen to it. Gorgeous on the skin. I mean, y'all can see. Y'all can see the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> but it's really pretty, really pretty. But the thing is, it's sheer. You do have to build it up if you want more of that rich bronze golden look, but it's so pretty. It's very similar. I think the formula is very similar to the one from Makeup by Mario. They have a bronzer. If you've tried that, then you know um, that one you can build up too. But she's cute, really cute, really small. This is, mm, it don't even say on here how much is in it, but I'll twist it all the way up so you can see the product. I mean, I've used this quite a few times already, but I feel like it hasn't really made a dent. Cause yeah, but she's real cute. Real cute. Okay, let me twist it all the way down so y'all can see. So that's about how much I've used. Cause it was um, kind of spilling over the tube when I first got it. So you can kind of see that I have used it quite a bit. Ooh, let me tell you about the lip combo that I have on right now. Let me tell you, girl. Okay, so I have the Tower 28 lip pencil in the shade Draw Me 
for the lip liner. And then I have on my Sephora matte lipstick. Now I know my lips don't look matte right now because I did apply a gloss before it. I usually always apply either a lip balm or a lip gloss before doing my makeup. I don't know, it's just, um, it's just a habit. But um, yeah, this is a matte lipstick, just to let you know. I don't want y'all to think, okay, ooh, that's a cute little, you know, satiny, type of finish, but no, is she's matte. This is in the shade 21. Is there a name? No, it just says 21. This is like a orange caramel -y nude and I hope it's gonna pick it up on camera. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. It's picking it up pretty good, but I love it. I love this color. I love it paired with that brown liner. It's so pretty. And then sometimes I'll top it off with this ColourPop gloss. This is in the shade Major Throwback. Now this is your true beige nude color. See that? So you can definitely tell a difference. But sometimes I'll top it off with this just to give me that extra, extra, you know, glossy finish. She's cute. She's real cute. Um, but yeah, that's my current lip combo. And I have a gloss that you have to try, especially if you're looking for a super duper cheap, I don't wanna say cheap, but a super duper affordable, like under, I think under $5. Girl, I think this thing was like $3.99. Hold on, let me look it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every time I try to look stuff up on my phone, like if I'm filming and I'm telling y'all, let me look it up, my phone be going slow. Yep, $3.99, $3.99 girl. And it's the Essence Hugs and Teddies gloss. Color wise, this is the best gloss I've tried from Essence. So it's a plumping gloss. It's not gonna give you that, that it's not gonna sting on the lips. It's just gonna give you that, it's just gonna feel cold a little bit, not too much, but it's the color. It is the color of this gloss. And I was kind of shook because it's from Essence and y'all know a lot of their lip products are not, look, 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 look. But y'all know a lot of their lip products are not like, like they're not a good nude for brown and dark skin. But this is the nude. It is the nude. It's rich. It's, let me give you guys a, a thicker little swatch. Mm, girl. And it smells like vanilla and mint. It smells really good. I'll actually put a little bit of this on now. Look, girl, look, look, look. Mm. All right, y'all, let me get closer, girl. Are you seeing this? Yes, and she's cute. She is so cute. Really nice, so check it out. $3.99, you cannot beat that. Okay, so the lip product that I've been using and abusing, this is literally in my purse every time I walk out the door, I throw this in the purse. The Thread Glosset Lip Gloss. If you're a fan of the Fenty Gloss Balm, just the, the clear one, glass slipper, this is pretty much like it, but it does have that, that minty, um, feel and smell to it. So yeah, this is just, I'd say this is Fenty glass. What is it? Yeah, Fenty glass slipper in a squeeze tube. And then, okay, so this has been my lip product that I use at night. I mean, it is a lip balm, but I use it as a lip mask and it's the one from Beauty, uh, Beauty Pie. I did a full haul of a lot of their products. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check out that video. But this has become a favorite of mine, like a favorite lip product before bed. It has a really nice vanilla cocoa type of scent um, and it's pretty thick too. So been obsessed with this. Um, definitely one of my favorite lip products that I've tried from Beauty Pie. I had like a couple of them in that haul that I tried out. This is definitely the top one that I've been loving and that um, there's a lip gloss that I've been using too. But this, this is it. And it's called the Intensive Lip Balm, by the way. Um, it has avocado oil, avocado, avocado oil 
in it. Why am I struggling with the top? There we go. And I don't know if you guys remember last year, I used to always talk about the Wet n Wild gloss in the shade Low Key Pink. That was like my favorite pink for the spring and summer. I don't think they sell that gloss anymore, but ColourPop came out with their Ultra Glossy Lip Gloss in the shade Bubblegum. And this is literally, literally the same color as Wet n Wild Low Key Pink. So if you can't find that gloss, get this one. She is the prettiest baby baby doll bubblegum pink and it looks so good by itself or with a lip liner so pretty so this this was my go-to gloss last year well the one from wet n wild but i'm glad that ColourPop came out with a shade just like it so you can definitely try it out and the last two products i have okay these are kind of like an oldie but goodie so i started back using them and i got a different scent this time um these are the eos lip balms these have been out for, I don't know, I feel like they've been out forever. I use the Sunset Sips. This is the one that I used to use all the time. It's the um, Pink Lemonade one. But I wanted to try something like a different flavor. And this one is, I don't even know if this is the same. Well, this one doesn't say Sunset Sips on it. This one just looks like this. This is the Super Balm Watermelon Frosé. And when I tell you I wanna eat this, this smells so freaking good, y'all. Anything that smells like Jolly Ranchers, Starburst, if it's a lip balm, I want it. This smells exactly like a Jolly Rancher. And they're super moisturizing too. You know some lip balms that you get from the drugstore like CVS, Walgreens, they kind of dry your lips out, but these don't. All right, let's talk about body care because I need to take this off of my hands and we can just go ahead and talk about these wipes, these are the Lumi deodorant wipes. Clearly, clearly, I'm obsessed with these. So, y'all, backstory. I've been wanting to try out Lumi, like their deodorants and their deodorant cream. So, I went ahead and purchased a couple of them weeks ago. I got the deodorant and I also got the deodorant the um the cream deodorant and I got it in unscented because I didn't I didn't want to I wanted to get the one that didn't smell like anything first before I actually started buying the products if I like them girl when I tell you the scent is so bad it smelled so so bad y'all so I was like uh-uh <laughs> uh -uh. I am not using this um, but I posted it on Instagram and a couple of people told me to try out their body wash and their body, uh, their, their wipes. And I did love the wipes. And this set is the cool cucumber. This smells like, like cucumbers. Like it doesn't have that weird scent like the deodorant did. And I kind of want to see if, um, the actual deodorant smells like these, like the cucumber deodorant. I want to see if that one smells um, anything like this because if it does, I definitely want to get that. But yeah, speaking of Lumi, after I got some recommendations, I got the wipes and I got the body wash. Look at this. Yeah, so it's been a while. I've been using these a good minute because clearly I am almost out. But the body wash is really, really nice. Um, this is a clean tangerine. I probably got maybe like one or two more uses out of this. Um, and yeah, I use this all over the body. Since it is scented, um, I thought it was gonna irritate me, but it did not, it does not. I usually like to use unscented products if I'm using it as a feminine wash. So yeah, surprisingly, this does not, like I didn't have any irritation from this. But yeah, so far so good body wash and the wipes are good so okay a new product that i've started using is the well it's new to me the naturium um restoring body lotion it is unscented um and i like to use this at nighttime. the first night i use this i put it you know all over the body woke up the next morning just to see how my skin felt and i was you know rubbing the skin i was like wait a minute this is a real smooth real smooth so what 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 is in here to make the skin feel like that? Omega fatty acids, shea butter, um, B vitamins plus sodium, PCA. But yeah, this feels real. It just made my skin feel real smooth, and I like that. So 
been obsessed with that. And then, okay, so I have a few fragrances that are oldies. So I kind of pulled them back out and started using them, putting them in rotation so that way I can finish them. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to finish up some fragrances and I am definitely working my way through some. So my old favorite, which is still my favorite, the Clean Reserve Skin. This is my running errands, just got out of the shower, chilling around the house in sweatpants, sweatshirt, tank. My any and every day, anything and every day fragrance. And clearly we are running through it. This is also what I've been spraying whenever I go to the gym. I just spray and go. Cause I don't know, it's just very fresh and clean. It's warm, but it's not too warm. It's just that everyday fresh, clean, cozy scent. And I'm trying to finish it up. And then the other fragrance that I kind of brought back into rotation is my Burberry Blush. Girl, we are almost out of this. This is also a very clean scent. It's not as warm and cozy as clean reserve skin, but it's very clean and, and, and like crisp. It's an aquatic fragrance. So it's very just crispy, clean, straight out of the shower. I don't know. It's really nice, really nice and girly and fresh and just clean. So yeah, another everyday fragrance that I've been spraying. So when I don't wanna wear the Clean Reserve Skin, I'll just wear this. And this is also a fragrance that I'll just spray like if I'm running errands or going you know, to the gym or something like that. So yeah, I have a new fragrance. Well, it's new to me. This thing has been out for years. Like when I mean years, I mean people used to wear this in high school, but y'all, I just tried it this year recently because I got it for free from Sephora when um, I just, you know, spent some of my reward points on it. Prada candy. Y'all didn't tell me this thing was this sweet for one. Like this is a very sweet scent, but it just, okay. When I first put it on, it, it's too sweet. It like, it's too sweet, but wearing it like after it sits on my skin, Yes, yes, yes. So whenever I wanna wear something really pretty and girly and sweet, I reach for this. And then another fragrance that I brought back into my fragrance rotation is the Killian Princess. This is by far one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. So they changed the packaging and I'm trying to hold on to the one that I that I have because it's like the, the um, if y'all have seen it before, it's the globe looking one. And I still have a little bit left in that bottle. And I don't know why I just won't use that up and just keep the bottle, but I've been spraying this bottle. Um, so yeah, if you didn't know, they did change the packaging, the bottle of the Killian Princess. Very, very warm and cozy and sweet and marshmallowy and just, uh, so, so good. So pretty, love it. Um, those are the four fragrances that I'm currently um, wearing right now that I'm just trying to go through because I'm trying to go through my fragrances, y'all. I'm trying to go through my fragrances. I just bought another one knowing good and well I didn't need any more. Burberry Goddess, oh my gosh. If you love vanilla, I think you'll like this fragrance. And I say I think you'll like it because there are some that love vanilla but don't like it. Um, it has a very, so when you first spray it, um, it has notes of um, lavender in it. So when you first spray it, that lavender is gonna hit you in the face. It's gonna hit you. So that's, girl, I'm telling you. I went in Ulta, saw that they had it, sprayed it on my wrist. When I first smelled it, I was like, mm, I don't know. This is a little, uh, it's kind of strong. I don't really smell the vanilla. So I just walked throughout the store with it on my wrist. So that way you can just, you know, sit on the wrist and marinate into the skin. And as I was walking around, it took a minute though. I will say it did take a minute, but I was as I was walking around, I kept getting a whiff in my face and it was that fragrance. And when I tell you it dries down so nice, like the scent, 
oh, you just got to go in there and spray it and smell it for yourself. Um, I wouldn't say blind buy, but I know some of you like to blind buy stuff, including myself. But if you want to smell it, if you just kind of, you know, want to test it out, just go in the store, spray it on your wrist and just walk around. Don't go off of the first spray, like the first scent, the first thing you smell. Walk around the store, shop if you need to, and just see if you like it. So, yeah. Um, what else? Okay. Ooh, a couple of skincare products. Just a couple, not a lot, because I haven't really been going through a lot of skincare. I'm trying to stick to what I know, or not stick to what I know, but stick to what I'm using now, currently using. But um, I wanted to revisit this Habit uh, Cucumber Mister. This is a sunscreen. If you don't like to reapply sunscreen with your hands throughout the day, because you're actually supposed to do that, you're supposed to reapply sunscreen, especially if you're gonna be outside. But if you don't like to do that, or if you're wearing makeup, get a sunscreen mist. This one from Habit, bomb. It literally smells like fresh cucumbers. But, 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 this will have you glowing, like glowing. If y'all ever hear me talk about the, the Tatcha Dewey Mist, I know I know y'all hear me talk about it because I always talk about it. <laughs> the Tatcha Dewey Mist is literally the only mist that I wear every time I wear makeup. Um, but I spray it when I get done doing my face and it just kind of brings that dewiness back into the skin. If you spray a lot of that spray on the skin and your skin is, you gonna look like you have on oil. So I stopped using this with makeup. I only use this when I don't have makeup on if I know I'm gonna be out and about for a while, especially out in the sun. I took this with me to Florida and I, I mean, I wasn't wearing makeup when I was there and I was in the sun a lot. So I would just spray this all over the face and it just, ooh. The glow is nice, it's really nice, it's very nice. I love me a glowy, dewy face, but if you don't like that, ah, you might not like this, cause this is, girl, this is a dewy, dewy, dewy mist. But I like it, you're protecting the skin, and it smells really good. Um, okay, so a new product that I started using is the Naturium, well, it's new to me, is the Naturium Intense Overnight Sleeping Cream. I wanted to tell, um, cream, I wanted to talk about this again with you guys because I know I shared this in, it was like a haul, but in a vlog. Um, so some of you don't watch my vlogs, but in my vlogs, I be doing a little bit of everything, like a little bit of everything. I share hauls, I do get ready with me's, I do night routines. We just be chilling around the house. Girl, we be shopping. So if you don't watch my vlogs, watch them. If you want to see a little bit more of randomness from me. Anyway, I wanted to talk about this with you guys again because I've been using it, obviously, and um, I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. So this is a very thick cream. It's just as thick as the Glossier, Glossier, um, Glossier, Glossier, the moisturizer that I love, that y'all know I love, the one that's in the green container with the pink top, it's just as thick as that and you have to kind of warm it up in your fingers just like that one. But I don't like how this doesn't give me that, like I like my skin to look like glass before going to bed. Like I like that glassy skin, dewy skin look. This kind of makes my skin look a little dry in a way. I don't know but it doesn't feel dry. Like, does that make sense? Like it looks dry, but when I touch my face, it doesn't feel dry. I don't know. That may be a crazy reason as to why I don't really love this product, but it's a nice thick cream if you are on the hunt for a new night cream. So, and if you don't like that glassy, dewy look before going to bed. I think you'll really like this. So yeah, just wanted to update y'all on that. And then I'm also using the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Hot Oil Cleansing Balm. I shared this in a vlog. I told y'all, if y'all don't watch my vlogs, you are missing out some, on some things. But I tested this out in the vlog with you guys um, and I'm, I'm liking it. This does kind of warm up, so don't be alarmed if you did you know, if you do try this out, don't be surprised when you feel that warm feeling, um, but it's not anything intense. 
if you've ever tried the pharmacy, uh, the pharmacy night cream, no, the pharmacy mask. If you've ever tried that, y'all know that kind of warms up on the face. That's kind of like what this does. Um, but this is just a cleansing balm. This is what I'd use to take my makeup off. If you don't wear makeup, but you want a good cleansing balm, that's not gonna strip the skin. That's not gonna um, burn your eyes. This is pretty good for that too. So this is pretty good. So yeah. One last product, which is a hair product. The Rizzo's Cur <laughs> Rizzo's Curls Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp and Hair Rinse. Oh my gosh. Why y'all ain't tell me about this? I wish I knew about this sooner, like when I first started getting braids. Whenever I take these out, I'm still gonna be using this. I have maybe like this much left. I have used the mess out of this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's an apple cider vinegar rinse. You just squirt it throughout your parts and then just kind of massage it and then rinse it out. And when I tell you my hair feels so clean it looks clean and then all you have to do afterwards is put use a conditioner like you can use this Oop. you can just use this and then whatever you use for your conditioner and be done or if you just want to like really wash your hair you can just use this then another shampoo afterwards and then a conditioner but this is literally like shampoo and water in a way because when you squirt it it's like coming out like water but it lathers even before you wet your hair it lathers up i'll put this on my scalp before getting in the shower and just rub my fingers throughout my scalp and it looks like i have shampoo all in my hair but it's nice it's really nice it smells good and yeah it's just a good rinse if you have protective styles try this out this is really really nice but yes girl those are all of the products that i'm currently loving and obsessed with i want to know what you're currently loving whether that's skincare products, body care, hair care, makeup. It don't even have to be beauty products. But yeah, I mean, anything you're currently loving, let me know. Let's talk about it down below in the comments. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I shared all of these products. If you guys enjoyed, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one.